if you watch that movie, there's scenes where you just see us laughing. In, oh, I'm in the sure. Scenes because we, we just had such a good time. And was it hard getting in all that drag? Oh, I could be wrong, but lighten no. up, you freckle-faced, guitar-playing <laughs> freak. Carmen was my boyfriend. Oh, if you're going to laugh, maybe this isn't the podcast for me. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of the Just Saying Podcast. I'm your host, Justin Martindale. And with me this week, I have one of my favorite people ever. Uh, I mean, you are an actor, comedian. I'm going to give you some credits because that's what I said at the top. I like telling everybody who's with me today. Yeah, it's uh, important. You've seen him in Something About Mary, uh, one of my favorite sorority boys, uh, Sausage Party, he's the creator of Puppy Dog Pals, uh, the one, the only, Harlan Williams, everyone. I did four of these. Every time you did a credit, I went like this, Just, and I think I threw my neck out. Well, don't do that. Not before the holidays. Well, I don't think it's very nice of you to set me up. I came here to have a chat. Now I got to go to see a chiropractor. Well, that's how the show goes. I'm sorry. Okay. You're gonna you're well. gonna get your bones out of whack from having so much fun here. But first and foremost, yeah, I want to give you a happy early birthday. Oh, mm-hmm. guy. Guy, how'd you know? I do my research. Wow, <laughs> wow. You knew that I had a birthday this year. Yeah, well, yeah. Wow. I know. It's very strange. Good research. I yeah. like to look up things on Do you people. have one this year? Yes. Well, then I'd like to give but you a But this isn't happy about birthday. me. Thank well, you. It was it was like well, early, early, but yeah. When's your birthday? In March. Happy birthday. Thank early. you. This See, is now I can about play me. Your game. I can play your <laughs> early game. Do you, and you know what? Happy birthday for next year. How okay. About that? God, wow. Got you're gonna, you're the first person who's wished me a happy birthday for next year. And happy Halloween for next year, too. Wow. Candy bar critter. Thank you. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> Do you have any big plans for your birthday? Are you a big birthday guy? I'm not a big birthday yeah. guy. It's it's been a tough week for me. It's it's weird on my birthday. I lost my best friend last week, not to oh. bring the show down mm-hmm. instantly. We'll, we'll just cut this out. No, it's, it's good. I, you know, everyone says you should talk about it yeah. when you lose somebody. If you don't mind me talking Go about for it, right it. Out of the game. This then is we, your then we'll episode. have fun. Yeah, then we'll have fun. But it's on my mind, and mm-hmm. so I wanted to get it out so that I could be clear. We could have some fun. But I lost my best friend, and uh, we were camping, and... Uh, he uh, he wandered off, mm-hmm. and it must have been six, seven hours before we found him. Oh, God. And he, I don't know, he was lost behind some rocks, and he went in the woods, but we found him. Okay. So it's never fun when you lose a friend. Behind rocks? Well, he wandered off. Yeah. We were camping, mm-hmm. but we found him. But I'm still emotionally, poor Cujo. His name's Cujo. We were yelling Cujo, like the Saint Bernard, the well, rat, the rabid Saint Bernard. Sort of. He would, have you ever heard in the seventies they had rabies babies? Like children. <laughs> no. What's a rabies? Children born with rabies? No, I did not. I yeah, missed he, that epidemic. He was a rabies baby. And oh, okay. His parents named him Cujo, and he was a great kid. But then when he went through puberty, we used to sneak into the strip joints. Uh huh. And we'd get kicked out every time because this kid, you know, the symptoms of rabies, you get the foaming mouth and you get the yellow pustard coming out of the eyes. Yeah. And we'd be sitting there, please welcome Tammy to the stage. Not and, Tammy. Well, we'd be sitting there and here's Cujo, his fucking mouth mm-hmm. is full. Looks like he just ate a tube of crest and his eyes look like he just got out of a, you know, a delicatessen uh, wiener festival or yeah. something. But anyways... <laughs> I just wanted to get that off my chest because well, I lost a friend. I know. I'm sorry for your loss, Thanks. but happy birthday. <laughs> happy breast day. Because when I think of birthday, I think of being born uh-huh. and suckling. So I say happy breast day, not birthday. I remember climbing up on my mother's. Oh, you to, remember latching. I remember suckling. Wow. I have some kid. Well, she's going to make funny eyes. I No, those are just my eyes. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my God. They're just that. They're almond shaped. Yeah, they are almond shaped. Mm-hmm. Sea salt almond. Or everyone, regular. Every, every, well, they're they're like a um, a dry roasted. Oh god. Yeah, I'm almost like they're very seductive. I'm transfixed. Thanks. <laughs> wow, <laughs> twanks. I think. Yeah, yeah. It's not like me. Like you don't I, need to. You no. you got a sexuality about you. Like really, you're, you're, you're always a sexy guy. You get the hair. You're statuesque. Thank you. Got you. The jawline. Mm. You get the stubble. Like. 
You've always been a very sexy guy. Thanks, Harlan. Yeah. It's on no stage secret. and off. Pardon you? On and off stage. On, on and on mm -hmm. off stage, you are a sexy guy. Thank you. Yeah. And you were one of the funniest people. Oh. I can't even tell you guys. Oh, like no. every time I see you on stage, it I belly over laughing. You do? Oh, yeah. Twank. It's <laughs> Twank you so much. Now, um, let's get into something. Okay. I found out earlier this year um, that you were a burner, a burning man mm -hmm. guy. Mm-hmm. And I had no idea. Yeah. Not that I could like judge somebody from their appearances that they go to Burning yeah. Man. I just did not know. And you went this year, right? When all yeah. everyone got concreted feet and <laughs> yeah. all that stuff. Yeah, it wasn't as apocalyptic as everyone made it out to be. Really? Yeah. The media said typhoid had broken out and people had no food. Yeah. And, you know, leprosy, all this stuff. <laughs> and it was like, no, there was a little bit of mud. It was about that thick. Uh huh. And because you're driving and most people have heavy vehicles, trucks, trailers, whatever, it, it made it tough to move around. But guess what? When they opened the gates, everyone was out the next day. Yeah. So what what made you get into the Burning Man lifestyle? You know what it was? It, it's, it's pessimism. People's pessimism. Really? That's, that's the real answer. So there was this, this girl I knew. Who named got, Tammy, who oh, is a stripper. Whoa, <laughs> I knew it. Bang, I knew bang, it. Boom, Johnny <laughs> Rhubarb. <laughs> um, no, but this this uh, this girl I know, my friend Julia. We were we were um, working on a project together. We were doing a sitcom, and she came in second season, and it was her first day back. We were back from the summer, and she was just radiating. She was glowing. And she, she, she was like, I went to this thing called Burning Man and I loved it. And like literally everyone on set circled around her. There was mm -hmm. probably about 15, 20 people in a circle. And they were like, oh, this thing, Burning Man, Burning Man. She was just beaming. And I could see it in her eyes. She was so happy to share with everyone. And everyone in the circle just went, oh, no, drugs, oh, hippies, oh, smelly, shrimp barbecue, you know, all this. Yeah. Everyone was immediately pessimistic. And turned off. And so I just stood back and I just watched everyone. I went, here's this girl that's actually like glowing. Like how often do you see that every, someone goes, oh, I just want to scratch off at 7-Eleven, yay. Or, oh, I got my car payments. You know, everyone, it's very mediocre. Uh -huh. But here was this girl literally like bubbling with euphoria. She was so excited. I just looked at all these people, like friends of mine, like cool people. You think hip people. And everyone's just like shaking their head and going, oh, yeah, uh. I've heard. I've heard this. I've heard that. And in that moment, I just went, I'm going to go. Look at this girl. She's sending a signal to all of us, and everyone's going down negative street, and she's trying to share something clearly that lifted her spirits. She found beauty in, like, she was radiating. And I said, I'm going to go just for that reason. And I went, and I've gone back almost every year because I had such a good time. How how many years is that? That's my sixth year. There's oh, wow. two years that shut down because of COVID. So. Yeah. But that's that's sort of uh, emblematic of what happens in life. People can be very pessimistic, mm -hmm. and they don't they don't want to hear good news, or they don't want to absorb somebody's you know joy good vibes, yeah. and joy that they're always ready to jump on it or look at the negative side. So I've I've learned in life when someone tells you something and they're overflowing with enthusiasm, like chances are it was a good time, like latch onto it. Yeah, I did that recently. Oh, what um, happened? I didn't go to Burning Man, but it was my Burning Man. I went yeah. to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Oh, and yeah. You know what? Oh, God. I was, I was, I was that person. I was yeah. pessimistic. Um, oh. And I went wow. and I enjoyed myself thoroughly. Oh. I had a wand. Oh. I got to nerd out. Oh, um, was Gimbledorf there? Or? Dimbledorf was oh. not there, but Dumbledore was oh, there. God. And Dumbledore was like, please don't mention Dimbledorf wow. because he's been a little reckless lately. Have with... you seen the new character Dildo Dorf? He's like, <laughs> oh, God, he is. Not Dildo He stands tall and erect, but... He's one of the tallest. Yeah. Yeah. I think, a they, little deformed, I think they sent him on a, a 
Yeah. Some release from the school. Yeah. yeah. He's only got one eye. Oh, yeah. Well. yeah. Oh. I don't know how he lost it, but yeah. you know. Well. But it was fun. It was it was yeah. it was a what good time. What happened there? Was it a is it a castle or what's there? It's a there? castle. You know, there's like snow on the roof. It's a little oh. like trippy because it's like 80 degrees and there's, you know, <laughs> snow oh, on the yeah. roof. But everyone's having a good time. Oh. It's, and uh I went to this like pub and uh it's just like this ambiance of like a Scottish pub. I'm not oh, Scottish. I'm not yeah. Irish. But I'm sitting outside and there's just bushes and barrels and I'm like at oh. a Ren Fair or am I? Yeah. And just and and I was like, do you guys what kind of beers do you have? And they're like, well, we have honey wine. And I'm like, of course you do. Oh, wow. And they're like, it's fourteen percent alcohol. It's like I'll take two. Wow. So yeah, just sitting outside honey of honey wine. I, I can imagine you sitting there. You look down the end of the bar and there's Winnie the Pooh drunk. Like yeah. This. Is oh. there any more honey wine? Well, it, <laughs> rabbit. <laughs> and he's just like plopped over wearing that dirty diaper he uh, wears. Oh, I and, know. Did he wear a diaper? I think he no. did. And Christopher Robin's probably like injecting heroin in the in the honeydew bathroom or God. whatever it's with Dildo Dorf. No, Dildo Dorf is not in the honeydew bathroom. A, but I don't know. I want to know where Dildo Dorf is. <laughs> Dildo Dorf's doing his own thing. Yeah. He's hanging out with Hagrid in yeah. his cottage. But Wow. But Moaning Myrtle made oh, an appearance. Wow. Do you know who Moaning Myrtle is? Oh, no, who's that? Well, I honestly didn't know. I'm going to go yeah. back this holiday season and watch all 48 ep uh, episodes of Harry Potter. Is there that many? It's a lot. I think there's like eight or nine movies, <sighs> episodes. I like how everything's just a streaming I now. tuned out. I wanted to like Harry Potter because when it first came out, I had friends who read the books and like yeah. Harry Potter. I'm like, it's a boy with a with a stick. Yeah. Flying around. Yeah. And so I'm like, okay. And I thought, well, everyone's talking, <laughs> everyone's reading the book. So yeah. I go to the first movie and I, I'm not a wizard. I'm not a wizard and fairy guy. I like monsters and aliens and scary. I do too. I like monsters and aliens and scary, but yeah. I also like, you know, like magic and. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I, and I like an evil wizard who's yeah. just like, Harry Potter! Like, yeah. just a screaming bald I, I wanna serpent. I want to like it. I want to yeah. like, we live in this age of, of John Wick. Yes. Where every weapon known to man every is in his weapon. hands. And then you see a guy come out with a, a, a birch tree branch. Mm -hmm. And I'm just not, you know, what am I, you know, what am I going to get termites? Yeah. You know, but it's, it's like, laced with the strand of a unicorn mane, wow. you know, like that. Oh, like, yes, yeah. yes. But Moaning Myrtle's in the bathroom. I asked. Yeah. <laughs> was, wow. I, I went to the bathroom and peed oh and God. all the honey wine, you know, oh. and all of a sudden I hear, oh, no. I don't want to be in here. And I'm like, hello? Who's oh, here? Oh, God. Was Winnie the Pooh taking a it shit? Was, it was like, probably. It was oh, probably God. Tigger <laughs> pissing out a kidney stone. Yeah. yeah. And um, <laughs> I go outside and I'm like, there's there's like a, is there like a girl in the bathroom? What? And they were like, uh, my all friend. Gender? <laughs> No, was it an all gender Gorbel? It's golf? an all wizards bathroom. All wizard. Yes. Wow. And my friend's daughter was like, "That's Moaning Myrtle," and I'm like, "What?" Oh. They're like, "That's the little girl that died in the bathroom." I'm like, "What kind of a theme park is this?" Oh, maybe she had a bowel problem. I, I so. mean, if you're Moaning Myrtle and you're sitting on a shitter. You clearly have gingivitis in your colon or something. <laughs> I mean, someone get that wizard an X lax. But then Fuck. I started thinking, I'm like, was this, was this dead ghost like looking? Looking at everything while Ooh. I was going on in there. God. Anyways. So there was, was there a real girl in there or was it just no. a sound effect? It was a sound effect. Okay. But okay. it scared me because I was like, <laughs> I was there. You got to wonder, you know how some of these wizards, like, you know, people have a phobia about actually sitting on a toilet seat. You got to wonder oh, if yeah. the wizards hover. Yeah. Like if they just hover over the I toilet would. and drop a deuce. I would. You know, I have yeah. a, uh, I have a fear of, of sitting in public. Yeah. I can't do it. You might want to take take some dil I can't do dil it. Dorf and juice or something. Yeah. yeah, they just hover right over the seat. Right yeah, there. just a suspended yeah. just bidet. Do, uh, do an airdrop. Are you a yeah. bidet guy? No thanks. I'm busy. <laughs> Wait, you have what? no time for a bidet? Well, I, I sleep. You've got a bidet. I sleep on a bidet. Good, yeah. good, good, good. No, wait, what? With a bidet is the, the anus sprinkler? It's the, it's, yeah. yeah. It's the, just like, it's like water that just yeah. gets it all. We, I, we had one when I was a kid. Do you remember those things, the wild willy, the, the <laughs> thing you'd put on your hose and it would flip all over the you yard? You use that as a bidet? Well, my our parents were too cheap to buy toilet paper. Uh. So after the kids took a loaf, they'd send us out on the lawn naked. Okay. And 
and we literally have to chase this thing with our assholes. Mm. It was unbelievable. That's a yeah. weird childhood throwback. It was, but it, they, it was a trick to it because it made us tired and we slept at night. It was well, kind of like wearing out a puppy. Yeah, yeah. Your parents were like, just oh. send them outside with the... And our anuses sparkled in that Good neighborhood. For you. We were known as the sparkling anus family. Some of the neighbors would send their kids over. One family used to send their grandmother over in the wheelchair. Uh -huh. This thing would get up underneath her and twirl around. Just like, uh, the spinning on oh, spokes? Oh, God, yeah. Good for just, her. God. Well, yeah. um, I want to say that a uh, huge fan what of do yours. you want to say? I would love to say that Half-Baked, one of my favorite movies. Sorority Boy is one of my favorite movies. Did you know that? You don't know this. My brother and I, my youngest brother, when Sorority Boys came out, what? we watched it and... Um, we laughed so hard when you, it was the scene where you guys are in the sorority. Yeah. And the, one of the girls looks at you and says, so tell us about yourself. And you go, well, I'm addicted to porn. And we, A, didn't know what porn was, right. I don't think. But sure. like, we just thought it was the fun, I know. Uh, but uh, laughed so hard. And to this oh, day, wow. like, we just laugh. Constantly at that line. Yeah, so. that that movie was one, out of all the movies I did. That was one of the funnest because it was it was me. Mm -hmm. It was like a co-starring thing. It was three lead guys. It was Barry Watson, Michael Rosenbaum, and me, and we were like sort of equally the the main leads. It was like yeah. three stars in one movie, and so we all just we were these young guys, and we just. If you watch that movie, there's scenes where you just see us laughing. In, oh, I'm in the sure. Scenes because we, we just had such a good time. Just And was it hard getting in all that drag? You know what? It was that for some reason, the hair and makeup guy thought, oh, they're going to be girls. <laughs> Let's go and wax them. <laughs> so Where? Like your chest? No, our whole bodies. They what? took us to a thing and we're, we're going, wait, what? We're going to be wearing clothes, aren't we? <laughs> But somehow they tricked us into it, and all three of us went to a waxing salon, and we had to watch each other get waxed. There's a, there's actually footage of it there somewhere. There has to be. Yeah, and it just ripped all our hair off, and then we were in dresses and clothes the rest of the movie, so you never, ever saw it. Yeah. And we, we I kind of went back, and I thought, I think maybe the the makeup dude had a fetish or something. Yeah, you guys got, like, he we, or I something. Think we did, I right? think you did, right? I think you did. we got sexually hair or yes. something. Yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it was really weird. But, you know, there's something I will say. So I've had to play a, a woman character twice. I did another Disney movie called... I get it. I see it. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? I see how you would play a woman twice. How? Explain. Just feminine, sexual. Really? On top of her game. Yeah. Uh, boss bitch energy. Me? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Thanks. Mm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, but what I was going to say is one of the real amazing things about playing a woman character mm -hmm. is, is, you know, I'd never been in women's clothes, the makeup, the eyelashes, the foundation, the eyeliner, the the wigs, the bras, the fake boobies, the, the pantyhose, the shoes. Like, as an actor, it's one of those rare treats. I did another movie for Disney called Mr. Head Mistress, where mm -hmm. I had to be, it was kind of like my version of Mrs. Doubtfire. I, okay. I had to, I, I snuck to an, an all-girls boarding school and pretended I was the head mistress. Like Dildo Dwarf. Yeah, like Dildo Dwarf, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and what I was going to say is when you put this stuff on as an actor, it sort of just makes you become the the character. <laughs> yeah. Because you, you, it, it's almost like you ever put a tuxedo on for Every a wedding day. or something, right? Yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden you sort of feel like you've got that James Bond. You, you almost feel like you're good looking and you're very <laughs> poised. and Like it does something yeah. to your psyche, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when, when I put all that stuff on, it's almost like the character just found me. Like you just suddenly become very <laughs> feminine and you 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 just it's, – it's, it's so weird. I, I wish all acting roles – Stuff came to me that easy, but when you put that get up on it, it just sort of takes you over. It's actually really cool. Well, now that the strike is over, yeah, I I see many more uh, uh, feminine roles in your future. Feminine roles, yeah. I, w I would do it because they're like I said, they're really fun. It's a lot of work to put all that stuff on. Mm -hmm. But uh, I just finished a movie. I, I just got back from a movie a week ago. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, I did, just finished a movie called Wingman with Russell Peters and cool. Jamie Kennedy. Oh, good. And, uh, 
We had a freaking riot. So Good. yeah. Anyways, I'm drifting. Do we know when that comes or is that already we out? We just or? wrapped like, oh, you like guys literally just a week it. ago. Oh wow. So we haven't even started editing yet. Oh, cool. So, so yeah. look forward to that. Look forward to that one. Yeah. All right. Let's get into mm. have you heard about this woman uh who tattooed her forehead with her boyfriend's name? On it, a real tattoo or well, one of those fake ones? It was a whole thing. Um, this woman shared a video of herself getting her boyfriend's name on her forehead. Uh, she's an influencer, and she put this on TikTok. She appeared TikTok. It appeared to be poking fun at the recent trend for face tattoos, uh, but then she quickly admitted it was all a prank. Oh, uh, okay. So, by yes. the way, am I allowed to look at this? You can look I, at this. Okay, yeah, I didn't yeah, know yeah. if you were doing a game. Oh, no, and no, no. I wasn't I'm, just, to... I'm just setting up the story. Okay. And then, yes. So you is that can, her? This is her. So, yeah, she okay. she actually got the last part of my last name uh, oh, tattooed. Yeah. She's actually a Just Sayer. That's, those are my, that's my crew, the Just Sayers. Is that yours? Like your... The name of this podcast, yeah. Just Saying with Justin Martindale. Just Sayers. Yeah. Just Sayers. Got a okay. Facebook group going strong. Kind of like the Bieber, like Biebers. Is that your No, those are say. the Beliebers. The Beliebers. That's so a yours whole is the Just Sayers. The Just Sayers, yeah. Okay. I thought that was better than like the Martin Dalians. I wonder you know? if Leo Sayer is a Just Sayer. Ooh. Maybe now. Who knows? You got a cute <laughs> way of talking. I feel like dancing. Who dancing? I mean, if that's not the biopic you're in next, I don't know what is. You know who sings out, right? I know the... You make me feel like dancing. Yes, yeah, the Bee Gees. No, Leo you know? Sayer. That's not... That that's is? Leo Sayer. That's time. what the whole bit was that you just missed. The whole time I thought it was the Bee Gees. Well, I'm because telling it you now, it's I know. Leo Sayer, and that means you missed it twice. <sighs> well, this woman was grinning from ear to ear at the end result with Justin Bieber's boyfriend playing in the background. She filmed herself looking in the mirror, showing off this tattoo. Okay. Um, viewers weren't convinced by it, and their suspicions were confirmed when she later admitted it was a prank. Um and people were like, where's the redness of the tattoo? Blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. And she said, you got it, guys. I was faking this. So now I'm wondering, did this woman influence people to get their um, partner's name tattooed across their forehead? Because yeah. the, uh, uh, re the reasoning for it was because she said that when we're young, we get tattoos that we're going to regret. I don't know if anyone's getting Kevin tattooed across their forehead. Wow. But it was to show awareness that, hey, maybe you don't want to get regrettable tattoos. Yeah. Not the nicest font I've ever seen. Not a good font I mean, at all. You might no. want to get something that doesn't harken back to the Shakespearean era, and it looks like someone tattooed your face with a feather and a nib. But you know what looks good with that? Yeah. A tuxedo. Wow. See? Talk to me, penguin boy. Yeah. You got to put a tuxedo on <laughs> wow. with I just Kevin lay an across egg on your, your face. That's what I want. Fuck that tattoo. I want to lay a penguin egg. Right on your face. If I had a nickel for every time <laughs> someone told me that. Hey guys, this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. They support this show and they want you to know that they are also here to support you. I know the world may be wild right now. Believe me, I get it. But every now and then, you kind of need somebody to talk to. I get the chance to sit here with my friend every week and just laugh, have a good time. And it's such a therapeutic way to just kind of slough off the burden of what's going on in the world, how hectic and crazy the weeks can be, the holidays are coming around. I know that's very chaotic for a lot of you, but BetterHelp is here to let you know that you can do something with them, and that is talk and listen and be heard all from the comfort of your own home. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash Saiyan today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Saiyan, S-A-Y-I-N, to get 10% off your first month. Trust me, your brain will thank you. You have, <laughs> I mean, who needs Bitcoin, you know? Uh, let's keep it going. We've got the Met Gala. Where'd you meet her? 
while I met her at the gala. <laughs> wow, I love Gal Gadot. Where, what the fuck? Who are you hanging out with, Penguin? Gal Eyes? Gadot went God. to the Met Gala. <laughs> the Met Gala yeah. uh, is, oh, the, okay. is every May, yeah. May 6th, I believe, oh. and the Metropolitan Museum of Art revealed the theme oh. of this next year's Met Gala. Okay. Um, and it's called Sleeping Beauties Re Reawakening Fashion. Huh. <clears throat> now, the thing is, every year they give you a theme in advance. Yeah. And a lot of people don't stick to the theme. Now, if you are given a theme, hey, this is a party. The theme is, you know, Winnie the Pooh diapers. Yeah. You're going to show up with a Winnie the Pooh diaper on, right? Right. But a lot of people miss the theme. So I thought it was kind of interesting because I'm like, what are we going to see for a Sleeping Beauty? Well, first of all, in this day and age of wokeness and, and titles, mm -hmm. I think we have to call it what it is, narcolepsy beauty. Narcoleptic women. Because you just call someone sleepy, and that's uh, sending the wrong connotation. I know, I know. I don't want to yeah. offend the sleeping community. Yeah. Um, but I just thought this was kind of interesting. I'm like, what are we going to see? I'm going to expect... Um, I, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna I'm gonna expect Billie Eilish on a mattress. Oh wow! She's a, she's a little sleepy already. Yeah, but in a good way. She has those doughy like I've just been hit in the face with a Home Depot shovel eyes. She does. I've yeah. never. Yeah. 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 And what she, color are her eyes? Blue. Yeah. A beautiful blue. Ocean I eyes. I almost actually. feel like someone cracked a couple of Chernobyl fried eggs on her face. <laughs> I mean, that, well, you asked. I mean, well, guys, I just, you want me to sit here with duct tape? Well, on no, my mouth, no, no. I, I just you I, want me to be sleeping beauty guy. No, I just no okay. one's ever mentioned my favorite, you know, Denny's item, the Chernobyl, well, <laughs> the Chernobyl yeah. eggs. You yeah, know, the blue it's, eggs. Yeah, yeah, it's that and moons over my hammy that just start my day. Oh, no, thanks. I'm busy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens. Okay. I mean, you got like the we... theme for today. You look matching. You look at you. Well, just... didn't Tom Selleck pass away? No. Well, I guess I fucked up today. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, wrong did, theme. We did say in the production notes, dress like Tom Selleck. Oh, so God. you got the memo. God, have you ever seen that giant caterpillar on his clip mantle? You know what's God, weird? Unbelievable. That's back in style now. Are you serious? Yes, there was a guy here on... Saturday at the store who oh, was God. ill. Every now and then we have someone who gets like ill. ill yeah. And they have to take him out in the hallway and then the fire department shows oh, up. Wow. The fire department showed up. Wow. Every fireman was smoking hot. And I'm not right. like, but like handlebar, like what? all of it. They had yeah. the dapper do, like Whoa. hair gel in, the like Tom Selleck <sighs> mustache yeah. just like jacked. And I'm like, my God, what is this? I was at Studio 54 and uh, I think it was 86. Mm -hmm. And I saw it was a Freddie Mercury and Tom Selleck were there. And they have those mustaches. And I saw them making out. And you remember in Avatar when these guys, they they, they join their... With their tails? Yeah. yeah. These, uh, 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 Selleck and, and Mercury's mustache <laughs> joined and they turned into a horse. It was unbelievable. Well, if you're going to laugh, maybe this is in the podcast. They didn't turn into a horse. They turned into a stallion. That's what it was. One right. sexy Whoa. centaur stallion. Centaur. Centaurs are hot. They are hot. Centaur is yeah. a hot mythological creature. Would you ride the front half yes. or the back? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to <laughs> jump on your question. <laughs> no pun a, intended. Yeah. Um, I would ride. That's a little personal. Yeah. You know, um, I I I would ride both. Okay. <laughs> It's got, it's got to be tough being half horse, though. Like, the front of you is a guy, and the back of you is a horse. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, you know, manure everywhere. Is it, though? Well. Is there horse, other cent? I didn't mean to call him a horse, sorry. Centaur bidets? <laughs> uh, like, well, who knows? Who knows? God. Aggressive. Fire aggressive. Hose, yeah. This was some inspiring news. Okay. Celine Dion. Whoa. Uh, you're familiar with her. She's Canadian. Yeah, she's sort of shriveling away, it looks like. Well, she just made her first public appearance in more than three years over what? the weekend uh, amidst, amidst a battle with stiff person syndrome. Is That's, that what she has? She has stiff person syndrome. Holy fuck, yeah. I had that last weekend when I took my Viagra. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, she went out. And she was seen what? having a good time. 
She went, well. Is that a real thing? Stiff person syndrome? Yeah. Did she, is there, did she not want to try some stretches or something? I don't know how it works. Um, is that for real? Yeah. Stiff person syndrome. She had to cancel her whole tour. She was like, I have stiff person syndrome. And we all were like, oh, no. Like, I didn't know. Did this, did these, did it's these very rare. things ever, did you ever hear them when you're growing up? Half the afflictions that hit people nowadays? Like gluten. Like gluten, PSTSD, ass, fucking <laughs> Chinese lily pad syndrome, fucking corn on the cob teeth syndrome. Fucking, corn on the cob teeth like, is, a, is something like, that we need to fix in this country. Dude, it's like, especially e before Thanksgiving. Every time you turn around, somebody's like created a new label hangnail fucking syndrome like, yeah everything's a syndrome now it really is it's, it's who knew i mean so this stiff stiff thing syndromes for real yeah and she's tried everything she's tried yoga she's tried you know all of the the newest medicines that have come out but she should I, just put a giant condom over her whole body and become rubber well that was her halloween costume this oh, year yeah you know? but who knew that she found the cure what? Um, yeah, she went out on Saturday um, and went to the Katy Perry Las Vegas residency. And apparently that is the cure for stiff person what? syndrome. Yeah. What do you mean? She went She went to resort, uh, Resorts World Theater yeah. um, and showed up to send off Katy Perry's last performance of her residency play. Okay. Uh, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were there because, of course— um, Cameron Diaz, Benji Madden, Zoe Saldana, and uh, you drop her. Yeah, I know. I know that's what I do. I got to do this. People need to know who was there in attendance well, with Celine Dion. Sounds and like you're was... name dropping to me. I know. Well, yeah, those you... names aren't even in the article. You just started <laughs> just making people well, up. Was Tony Bennett there, guy? Yes, yes, okay. he was. <laughs> was. Cinnamon Twist Jones. There? Cinnamon Twist Jones was front row, <laughs> as name, always. Name good dropper. old CTJ. Um. So she said, uh, la, 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 what else, what else? That was it. She was just dancing and having a good time. And now I'm like, okay, she she was dancing. Share. What about her? I'm just name dropping too. I can play. Which was the name of Katy Perry's residency. See, who knew that a woman wearing, you know, beer can bras would help one of the greatest singers of all time? Burt Lancaster. Burt Lancaster was not there. <laughs> Wasn't he? If you're going to name drop, daddy's going to name drop. He's got a point. Paul Newman. Paul Newman was... Fuck off. Paul Newman was not there. Paul Newman... Paul Still Newman a passed. name. Famous oh. name. <laughs> Checkmate, whore. <laughs> Just call me a whore on my own podcast? Thank you. <laughs> Checkmate, dirty whore. There we go. That's more like it. Um, all right, we've got... You didn't even volley one back at me. I dropped three big names. You didn't even volley Bert. one back. Well, I gave you Burt Lancaster, Cher, and Paul Newman. Okay. Nothing came back over I'll the net. I'll give you Paul Lynn. Um, I will give you uh, la, 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 Britney Spears. And I'll give you um, the Isley Brothers. I'll give you a, Whoa, a twofer. For the win, guy. <laughs> Boy, why did I even let you get back in the game? Did you just Isley my ass? Damn you, player. We got us a uh, player. Speaking of the Isley brothers. No, uh, thanks. I'm busy. This, this. <laughs> a lot of people were very upset over the weekend. Oh, no. What happened? Well, there's a lot going on in the world. Yeah. And I don't even know where to begin. You know, you've got war breaking out. Wow. You've got... You know, uh, mental health on the rise. You bet. Um, and you've got, you know, just internet trolls. You've got all of it. Yeah. But this one takes the cake. Uh, oh Harry God. Styles from One Direction, solo artist as well, shaved his head over the weekend. Oh, I thought you meant he broke into a bakery. You would think. Well, you did say he took the cake. Yeah. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I'm going to fly over this table. That's the second time. <laughs> the second time someone has threatened me with flying across the table. You and Brad Williams both were like, I'm going to fucking fly over. Well, one of us would fly over. The other yeah. would tiptoe. It would, yeah. It was a pitter patter. Yeah. It was a, uh, it's yeah. Like when Barney Rubble bowls. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Ding, it's, ding, yeah. Ding. That's actually Chinese yeah. lily pad syndrome. Wow. So. <laughs> so. 
Anna Green Gable. <laughs> oh, great, great book. No, thanks. But Harry Styles <laughs> shaved his head. <laughs> what? I know. Uh, after attending a Las Vegas show, I not Katy Perry's. Like Dildo Dorf. Now, I mean, look at him. We can see him. We've Whoa, got him let's right see, here. Let's see Dildo Dorf. Let's see. Do you like Harry Styles? I get it. It's I not my thing, but I get it. I don't know any. What I don't know one of his songs. Uh, was he in a boy band? He was in quit? One Direction. Yeah. Okay. And then he went solo. Taylor's oldest time. He has watermelon sugar high. That guy. Wait, what was the first one you said? Watermelon sugar. No, the high. first one. Uh, Taylor's oldest time. That was Beauty and the Beast. Well, why did you do that one? Because every boy band, there's one guy who goes solo. Oh, you know, it's like like thing. Justin Timberlake. Yeah, like they're like, I don't need this anymore. And Lance Bass. Lance Bass went definitely solo, but for the you know for different reasons. Came out. What about? And so None of the Backstreet Boys went solo. New Kids on the Block, Jordan, or no. Was it Jordan Knight? Did anyone no. in, did anyone in Star Wars go solo? Han. Correct. <laughs> Kids on today. <laughs> but but everyone lost their minds. Someone yeah. said to everyone posting the pick, Harry Styles. With his shaved head, please stop. It's hurting me emotionally, mentally, and physically. People are losing it. Harry Styles, stick your hair back on right now. Where someone else said, Harry Styles, you have 48 hours to grow your hair out of a buzz cut. Less than 48 hours even. Britney Spears did that a few years back. Remember? Oh, yes. Did yeah. she? Well, yeah. Is it a thing that like, maybe we should do some Nancy Drewing here. Mm -hmm. Because how old was Britney? Do you have any sleuth? Do you have a crack research team here? That was in 2007. How old was Britney when she scalped herself? And how old is <laughs> Styles <laughs> when he scalped himself? We might let's put some peace clues together here, guys. All right, let's. We do might some... have a new syndrome. Mm -hmm. Scalp yourself syndrome. Yeah, it's when you just can't even anymore. Right. Well, Britney shaved her head back in 2007. And what? 29. She was 29. She was 29. 25 okay. and 29. So, so she was 25 20s. and he's 29. So but uh maybe it's four the 20s. years apart. Yeah. So you're in your you're you're in your 20s and right. you just want to scalp yourself, you know? So you're 4 years apart. Mm -hmm. So let's what's Harry Styles' address? What like is there a 4 or his phone number? Is there a 4 in his And what's Brit has Britney got a 4? <laughs> Because Brit they were four years apart when they did it, so I'm see, starting oh, to see. That's it. Oh, I mean, oh. relax. Yeah, he looks. I like would a never little, though. I like could never shake girl. my head. Oh she wait, which one is it? That one. Oh, okay. I was looking at the black girl. I thought, <laughs> I thought, boy, you cut your that's... hair off. What a radical change. <laughs> that's not. Well, that's not. It's the one. This one. The closer one. Yeah. Well, something's going on with his ear. His ear is really small. Like, that's a boarding school nine-year-old boy's ear. Well, he's from the UK. They have small ears? Well, yeah, like boarding okay. school. Like, hello, I got me small ears <laughs> on me head, I do. Oh, I got small ears syndrome, I do. I better cut me hair off so you can see my stupid fucking ears. <laughs> God, he's got, like, guinea pig ears. You watch ears. people are going to be like, leave here. Ears alone. Do people love him that much? Oh, yeah. I mean, look yeah, at him. Well, what is it? Well, yeah. Do they really love him that much? He's just kind Fuck. of like a little rock and roll, tatted. You know, people compare him to David Bowie. No. I know. No, let's not. I know. I mean, I look at that, okay? In the 60s, you had guys in Hell's Angels mm -hmm. who maybe had that look. And would break your neck for looking at him the wrong way. Fair. Here you got a guy in a purple and yellow dress or overalls. And I just don't know how legit or angry those tattoos are. It all feels cosmetic and phony to me. It looks pretty. Those are some hardcore tattoos. I see a sparrow, an angel, and a moth. Yeah, a lot of flittering around. Mm -hmm. I'd like to get a tattoo of a bug light on my ass and throw them into it. How about that? <laughs> Well, if you're going to laugh, maybe this isn't the podcast for me. <laughs> if you have suggestions for Harry Styles' newest tattoo, yeah. please send them over to Harlan immediately. All right. Well, I mean, you look at that moth crawling up out of his pelvic well, area. You got to wonder if maybe at one point there was a cocoon down there. And uh, that's just his wiener hatched into a flying thing. Well, I think the cocoon is 
down lower. Yeah, but yeah. now when when the moth it's emerges like, from the cocoon, it crawls up and maybe from the that's, foreskin into right. the stomach. So maybe that's yeah. what he's doing. He's yeah, like I'm here. I've I've cocooned. I've blossomed. <laughs> I've blossomed. I yeah. am finally me. Do you do you like butterflies or moths? Good question. Thanks. I knew this would be asked of me one day. Yes. Um. Butterflies. Why? Why a butterfly over a moth? I like moths. Well, it but I don't sound like, like the it. ones that are like big and hanging out on your porch. Like, hey, Uber <laughs> Eats. You know, like I don't want to. Oh, wow. Yeah. Holy that, that's, jeepers uh, creepers. That very much. Wow. Yes, yes, that wow. guy. Wow. I think that was a connection we had at some point. Was the yeah. dude from Jeepers Creepers? We love him. We both love him. We do. We live for him. It's just something like that's a moth man. Yeah. Yeah. Moth bat sort of demon dragon demon person blue hair and egret Ugh, type of the, situation. Ah, yeah. Predator mouth. Oh god. Speaking of predator mouth, Britney yeah. Spears. Wow. He uh, got out of that one real yeah. fast. God. Yeah. So we did mention her shaving her head, but yeah. over, over the weekend she posted something. Taylor Swift is all over the news, and oh. I, you know, it's are you a, are you a Taylor Swift fan? I find her annoying, to be honest. Okay, go on. Well, I just find that there's something about her, and I don't know a lot about her. Maybe that's why, because I've, I've never really delved into who she is or what she is. But I look at a person who always seems to be on Everywhere. and aware. Like yes. when I see her at award shows, she's always dancing. Yeah. Listen, and I go, you're not doing that because if you were a nobody, you'd be up. And you'd do that because the camera's yeah. always watching. Yeah. So, I don't want to be judgmental, but just as an outsider doesn't know much about her, I find she's she's kind of I almost feel bad for her because I feel like she might be living an illusion for the rest of the world Interesting. and not living for herself. Interesting. It's almost like the the uh, Truman show where I yeah. think she she sort of has so much focus on her that a lot of what she does is done for presentation for sure. and not from here. But I could be wrong. She could be the most soulful, wonderful person I know. So these are just assumptions. I don't know. But outwardly looking in, this is what I'm getting. Well, breaking news while we're having this podcast, oh, she God. just farted in Argentina. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, God, that's, that was right. picked up by Ooh. the Daily Mail, wow. New York Times. Like, it's over the weekend. Travis Kelsey was there. She Ooh. changed the lyrics to her song and put him in it. And, like, yeah, ran up and kissed him. And everyone's talking about it. Here wow. we are talking about yeah. it. Yeah. But what do you think of her, though? I I'm, I'm ex I think she's a very talented songwriter. You do. But I'm just exhausted from how much, like, promotion and exposure. Well, it's like it's everything's getting. like overly cute yeah. and yeah. everything's overly posy. Yeah. I, like I feel, I feel like just when she moves her head and bats her eyelashes, yeah. it's, it's, it's choreographed somehow. It doesn't, there's something unnatural about this natural girl. Yeah. And that's just me, a complete outsider that the looking in. I like being a critic for like music. It's like, say if you were, if, 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 um, Say if I said, hey, I don't like this certain artist. Someone's yeah. like, oh, okay, cool. But if you say you do not like Taylor Swift, it's the invasion of the body snatchers. And everyone looks at you and goes, oh! And then, hey! yeah, exactly. And then you get trolled and ripped apart and like, she's the best. What's wrong with you? You mean like, like I just did for the last 15 minutes? Exactly. I just ripped her. Yeah. You didn't rip her. I just think it's so. It's an honest assessment. Yeah. And like I said, I feel compassion for her because I feel like when you're that famous, when you're, when you're that well known, it's probably an inner struggle mm -hmm. where you're trying to just live your own life and have your own identity. But with every step you take, it's, it's, it's a photo op. Yeah. And so you probably by default fall into this kind of reality where you're just kind of I don't know what everyone's going looking on. at me. Yeah, yeah no it's matter, very like, bizarre. Even when you see her up in the box, I saw a, a clip on TikTok where yeah. she was she was at a football stadium with seventy thousand people, yeah. and there she was, and someone scored a touchdown, and even her like cheering looked almost like she was like, I wonder who's what. Should I put a hand up here? Or, yeah, like it almost felt like everything's. I, I don't know. I could be wrong, but lighten no. up, you freckle faced guitar playing <laughs> freak. <laughs> Karma was my boyfriend. Um, Whoa, anyways, what was that? That's guy? one of her songs. I don't even what, know what I, song is it. I don't know. I think it's called Karma, actually. Well, um, but Britney Spears chimed in, which was oh, like here I was we here go. for. I know Are we haven't like pop pop Star Wars. Yeah, well, not pop Star Wars. No, Britney. I finished her book uh, in twenty minutes. It was uh, 
chapter eight was all coloring. And um, Britney Spears went into the archives and found a photo from the first time she met Taylor Swift in the year 2000. She okay. said, during my Oops tour, I got a knock at my door. The singer recalled in a post shared on Instagram. Uh, she said her good friend was uh, trying to become a manager and introduced her to Swift backstage. There was a knock. And then he said, I have a girl named Taylor who wants to come and sing for you. She oh. wrote. Uh, and here's actually the picture. She put this actually on her Instagram, which I was kind of surprised because I was getting really used to her dancing and spinning around in her kitchen with knives. Yeah, but that drives you nuts. It's, yeah, yeah. You Brittany know? drives you a little nuts. I think she haunts you a little bit. She does. Are you worried about her? Or yeah. You just, yeah. I am. I am. After reading that book, I was kind of like, okay. Like, I kind of knew everything already. It What'd you like, take away from the book, though, that you that, didn't know? Well... Her family really screwed her over. They oh put her in a God. conservatorship for 13 years. Everyone got really? worried about her. She was doped up on lithium. Everyone, she had a hard time trusting people. Kind of in the same sense of what we're talking about with Taylor, where everyone was hounding her over her littlest move. You yeah. Know? Yeah, and yeah. So here is, this is okay. her. So she's like, uh, just seeing her grow up into the woman she's become, she's very proud of her. Um, but yeah. I, Britney's I, proud of Taylor. Yeah. Who do you prefer? You you, you prefer Swift or, or Spears? Spears. Why? Wow, that was quick. Yeah. Why? I get it. I see the Taylor fascination with just like, she's got a whole bunch of, she's a gigantic catalog, all the awards. But right. when I think of like pop star, I yeah. think of like Madonna and, and, and Britney and Janet Jackson, like just like, yeah. not like a girl like, trotting around like in an Applebee's with, parking lot. Okay, with Parkinson's? No. Well, what was this you were that doing? That was just the, okay. the just the dance. Okay. It's it just like that Parkinson's and I'm like she's kind of young for that. <laughs> but I think what Britney had is Britney had this kind of um Marilyn Monroe-esque sexuality yes, about her. That, yes. That made her uh impressionable on people. She and, and she 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 sometimes she forced it, but I, I feel like it was there. Some people just have this sexual electricity mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. them. Whereas Taylor Swift, I think, has to kind of fabricate that a little and doesn't really have it. She's got that classic like girl next door kind of yeah. look. Very innocent. Uh she and when she met her, she said, I was like, Wow, wow, she's unbelievable. We took a picture and then we became the most iconic pop woman of our generation. Kind of cool. She plays stadiums and I prefer her videos of her movies any day. She's stunning. Girl crush. Dude, do you have a shoelace wrapped around your nutsack? Actually, yes, I do. Every time I do that voice, it's like, Hoo -da -da! Good God. you know, got to cinch it. Sounds like um, Mickey Mouse fell into a juicer and came out with raspberries on his eyes. Holy <laughs> corn on the cob fever over here. Not corn on the cob teeth again. <laughs> oh, I said fever. Oh, fever. Um, do we have that post where... Oh. What is it? She kind of goes off. Okay, this is uh, this is where it go. Because we oh. can't just have a normal yeah. day. So uh, Britney Spears' mom disputes that she sold the singer's childhood dolls and journals. Now, in the book, oh. Britney says yeah. that when she got out of treatment uh, for the last time she got out of treatment. For the uh, lithium? For the, li for the lithium, yeah. When she left her Vegas residency, when they were like... Britney's going to be in Vegas again. She just like walked into a car and drove off. And that lithium addiction is tough. I remember I saw a story where she got two Teslas and didn't even drive them. She just sucked on the batteries all night. She just, well, that's what lithium does to people. Yeah, you got to charge up somehow, you know? But uh, uh, her mother. Oh, God. What's her mother's name? My mom? No, well, hers too. Oh, her mom's Lynn. Well, what's yours? Lynn. No, it's Debbie. <laughs> Why did you? What was the upside to lying to me there, guy? Well, no, I just. No, it wasn't. Just weird avoidance. No. Well, you just, kind of injected Britney's mother onto your mother, and I don't know if your mother would appreciate that. That's fair. I'm sorry. Especially during the holidays. Yeah. What I are need you to lighten to up. Do? Your mother loves you. Stop I know she it. does. I know. Well, I would, let's not I would never again. compare my mother to Lynn Let's Spears. keep these cheesy stories out of your mother's life. Okay, fair enough. God, if I have to stick up for your mother any more um, than I do, I'm going to have to go get a bacterial swab down at Kmart. 
My mom just got canceled online. So, oh well. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Lynn. Uh, uh, but in the book, she yeah, says that go. she <sighs> got rid of her dolls and her journals. She loved journaling every Who's day. This? this is Brittany saying her mom like threw out her old stuff. Wow. And uh, the stories her Teddy Ruxpin could tell. Absolutely. That's five nights at Brittany's right there. Hi, That's Baldy. A, I'm Teddy Ruxpin. Ah, uh, just uh, what a weird toy that was. Did you have a doll when you were growing up? Like a mm -hmm. G.I. Joe or a, no. what'd you have? I had um <laughs> I oh, had I had He-Man toys. You did? I did. Did they talk? No. Okay. Did, I don't think they I didn't know. I never no. had a He-Man. But I had like um what else did I have? I had a Teddy Ruxpin. Did it I talked? It did what, more than talk. What did it do? I'd rather not talk about it. Oh my god, was there mayonnaise involved? <laughs> Absolutely. God. Every Did you time. ever put Nair on it and wakes in the morning and it's Teddy Ruxpin Chernobyl edition? <laughs> Making my eggs. <laughs> what is wrong with you? God. <laughs> I just love with this little doll like picture right here. Oh, it's just like, oh God. yeah, I know. Isn't that Holy terrifying? Shit. So these are Britney's dolls that she's what? talking about getting removed. They all look like haunted vampires. She shaved her head. No kidding. That's like Annabelle's fucking sister, but Cannibal. <laughs> did your Teddy Ruxpin, like, did you keep it on your bed? Like, did it sit? No. What did you do with it? I, I don't know. I put it in a chair. Did, but did it, did you, put, did you pull a string? How did it work? I never had one. No, it was like a cassette tape. It had a cassette tape, and you put it in its back, and it's like, hi, let's read a story from the dark world. Yeah. But how did you activate it? You just, I don't know. Maybe I didn't, maybe mine wasn't a toy. <laughs> What, what is going on with you? What is? I don't know. I think you turned it on. You had to turn it on yeah. somehow. But then it was like you put a cassette tape in it, and yeah. it would just like read the cassette tape. But for how long? Like how Until long the cassette tape was done? Well, what if it was like a ninety-minute tape? Well, it's not a Joe Rogan podcast. Well, you know? well, how long was it? Cassette tapes aren't know. thirty seconds. It's probably something long enough for a child to hold attention. So, like, like a minute. And you don't remember what it said? <laughs> no. Huh. But I do know Latin weirdly enough now. Oh, maybe it was Greek. <laughs> Greek spin. Teddy Greek spin. God, holy tatsiki. <laughs> um, so at the end of this Taylor Swift yeah. post, she goes off the rails in, in classic Britney Instagram form. So okay. we have three lipstick emojis because sure. She says, P.S. Mom. Well, let me just read the whole thing. Okay. She goes, this is way back when, but kind of cool. During my Oops tour, I got a knock on my door. My good friend at the time was the assistant to my manager who was trying to become a manager himself. There was a knock, and then he said, I have a girl named Taylor who wants to come in and sing for you. I was like, of course. He walks in, and here, and she sings a beautiful song with her guitar. I was like, wow, 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 she's unbelievable. We took a picture and then became the most iconic pop woman of our generation. Kind of cool. She plays stadiums, and I prefer her videos over movies any day. She's stunning. Girl crush. Three lipstick emojis. P.S. Mom, I love you so, so much, but there were three dolls in the cabinets when I went home two years ago. Kind of really weird you would take them out and then put them back in. So messed up. Nope, I don't want them. Keep it all. I honestly don't care anymore. Honestly, though. Took a turn. When did Britney Spears become a fucking ranch hand? Exactly. I mean, I, I've heard a lot of accents, but I've never heard Britney Spears talk like that. Oh, yeah. She talks like that. No. Well, why were you just doing <laughs> because it? Because it was unhinged Britney. That's my unhinged Britney voice. But even when she's unhinged, she don't talk like no cow hen. No, like she, she just like wrestled that. a calf out on the plane. Yeah, she's got her nuts tied with a shoelace. <laughs> what the hell's going on with you, son? I don't know in this, these crazy times. We're Damn, in. boy, turning Brittany into an old ranch hand. Shame on you. That, I would watch that. What? I would love to be have Brittany as a ranch hand. Who wouldn't? Right? Fuck. <laughs> just birthing cows. And God, just stripping. Waking meal. up early. Yeah. Well, here uh, is, uh, uh, we're going to do a gay sandwich right now. Not me, not me and you, but like, this these next segments ice cream or regular uh we'll do chocolate covered ice cream sandwich wow mm-hmm so oh. 
Holland Taylor, you know her? No, thanks. I'm busy. <laughs> She's 80. Oh, okay. She's in a relationship, wow. an eight-year relationship with Sarah Paulson, who's 48. So this is one of the longest. Like, Wait, is that two girls? Two girls right here. So lesbians. Yeah. Why didn't you say lesbians? Well, because I think people know. Well, I, what were their names? Sarah. And? Holland. That could be a guy. No, that that's could be Harland. A Dutch boy. No. Holland could be a Dutch boy. Holland? Holland's a Dutch boy's name. Is it? Yep. Sarah and Holland. I thought it was two straighties, and it <laughs> turns out you tricked me, and it's two gays. But you assumed it was straight people, so that's on you. And these times we live in, got to be a little more open, Harlan. And these times we live in, who isn't on me? <laughs> uh... Well, they found they're they're releasing their secret to a successful, healthy old marriage. Wait, what? What's going on? Sarah and Holland. How long have they been married? Eight years. Wait, that's considered an old marriage. Well, it's some people have a May December wedding, and I think theirs is a December November. Were they always lesbians? Or they were, were always they, lesbians. Some some lesbians like are with guys, and then one day they go, "Oh, I'm a lesbian," and they mm -hmm. become a lesbian. Right. No, they they've been. They've been lesbians, lesbians their for a whole while. lives. Yeah. Since birth. Since birth. Birthbians. <laughs> yes. They were born that gay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So uh, First marriage? I'm not sure, actually. Okay. Well, a real researcher would know. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> she says that we do some things separately so everyone gets to be true to what they believe. She's much more social, and I like to be a little bit of alone and have my alone time, so I have that. She spends some time with friends and not with me, so it's a good balance. So there's a 32-year age gap. Whoa. Is that too much of a gap? I don't think so. I don't think so either. I think life is tough, buddy. Exactly. Life can be lonely. Mm -hmm. You're lucky if you find love in your life mm -hmm. even once. I've met people who have never even been in love. Really? And if you get over the age of consent Go and, for and it. you find someone that you're compatible with and there's true chemistry and true love, then I don't care if you're 34 and 90. You should, I get if it. If you feel it, if you both feel it genuinely, legitimately, then mm -hmm. I say do it. Life's too short to not let love in. I agree. Spoken like a true burner. <laughs> You know what? I take it back. Fuck you. No! No, no you're taking it back. That was a good Burning Man like positive. Yeah. Okay. Then less I, less pessimist less pessimism. Less, then I'm really pessimism. It. Yeah, I'm yeah. putting it back. I agree with you wholeheartedly. You do? Yeah. Would you go out with an oldie? Yeah. Like would you go out with someone like twenty years your senior? I don't no. know. You wouldn't. There'd that have just, to be a connection. The way you crinkled your face up like I a pug. I told you my face is like this permanently. I know, but you went like this, like a pug that just sniffed a watermelon fart down at Myrtle Beach. That's I mean, Harry dude. Styles' song. Well, <laughs> that's his song. I want to hear it with ear Watermelon in. fart. Hi. <laughs> um, but here's some of the longest celebrity marriages well, in Hollywood. Again, you diverted me away. No, I okay. did not. Well, I saw we were talking about a watermelon fart, and you just sort of pushed me off to your big screen. Well... Because I wanted to keep the show moving in a uh, loving direction. Because hey, we're on this love kick. Hold on. Hey, gang. Friend of yours? Let's keep going. <laughs> Pushy. <laughs> we have Beyonce and Jay-Z. Oh, God. They've been together. Would you uh, date someone whose name was just letters? Like Jay-Z or <laughs> BJ or... Well, not PJ, but Jay Z for sure. <laughs> HJ. HJ. Um, Would you? I don't know. It's got to be hard not filling in the blank every yeah. morning. Yeah. You know, just yeah. letters. What are we on Sesame Street? Fuck I get off, that. I get know? that. Like, give me a full name. Yeah, like M M P. Like, M -M -P. no. Mm -hmm. Give me a name. Why? Why so elusive? Who are you for real? Yeah. Why We're in a relationship? Fill me in. I need to know the details. I get that. Um, so they've been together for 15 years and counting. Um, they've had their ups and downs, obviously. We're uh, still talking about. We're we're still going. Yeah, Ellen and Portia. They've been together for 15 years. Are and they? Counting. They're lesbians too. They are. Have they been since birth? No. 
Okay, see, that's mm -hmm. what I was saying earlier. Some of them find out. Who, who Tell me the story when they hit the lesbian trail. Well, I think Ellen was always, but I think Portia... Portia. Uh, Portia came out a little later. Was I she believe. with a guy before that? I want to say she did date guys before Interesting. that. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it took them three years to confess their feelings for each other. Portia and Ellen? Yeah. Why did it take three years? I don't know. They wanted to see how successful the show went, you know? <laughs> Wait, they were on a show? No, Ellen had her whole talk show. Right, but where does Portia come she, in? Portia was in Arrested Development. But... Oh, so they both had shows. Yeah, they just, I think they just they, met they and dated. They three years. Oh, they yeah. dated. Oh, and are they married? Yeah. Oh, so they dated three years and got married. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm a little lost no, in you're the fine. weeds here. Adam okay. Sandler, his wife, Jackie, 20 years and counting. And now she's gay? <laughs> no, she's, she's straight. Oh, we switched gears here. Yeah. So okay. some people throw you off. Cindy Crawford and... Oh, God. Uh, Would you... Would I, Cindy Crawford? Would you go out with her? Absolutely. Yeah? What's a date with you and Cindy look like? And don't forget about the mole on her face. Where would where would you take her? <clears throat> I wouldn't take her. I, I I couldn't take Cindy Crawford anywhere. What the heck? I would feel weird. What do you mean? Guy? I don't know. Where do you take Cindy Crawford on a date? I don't know. To Melon Land? <laughs> Is there such a place? What what place in L.A. would you take Cindy Crawford? I don't know. Probably fucking uh, Baskin Robbins and okay. get her some mint chocolate chips. So when she starts slamming it in her pie hole, you can't tell if she's got a chip on her lip or it's her dirty catfish, hairy fucking mole. I mean, you got to hide that thing if you're going to do some smooching in the back seat of your fucking Volkswagen rabbit guy. <laughs> So you've thought about this. Yeah. yeah, I get that. I get that. So whew, lots of Hollywood love here. Um, let's see. Uh, we've got Sarah Jessica Parker, Matthew Broderick. Do you like girls with three names? No. Like, can't you just uh, like, like we don't like the ones with letters. No, I do. I do. I do. I do. So I didn't Sarah mean, like, Jessica no. Parker. Wouldn't that get exhausting? Like yeah. now I sort of want the girl with just letters. Yeah. Because I could go, hey, MJ versus... Hey, Sarah, Sarah Jessica, Jessica Parker, Parker, what's for dinner? Like, right. how much wind do I have in my lungs? Right. Where I can just go, hey, MJ, you want to whip me up a snack? Hey, Sarah Jessica Parker. Well, now, well, now they call her. Where's the beef Wellington? Right. Oh, thanks for having such a long, exhausting name, you greedy, <laughs> name selfish fuck. <sighs> you know, I mean, imagine her poor parents calling her in for dinner and collapsing on the porch. Hey, time for dinner. Sarah Jessica <gasps> Parker. Parker up uh, right in the azaleas, a fucking grasshopper. It's their fault. They gave her the name. Well, that's a, what, what were her parents' name? John fucking C. Riley? Yeah, I bet. I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> I bet just two letters. I'd love to see Samuel L. Jackson dropkick Sarah Jessica Parker in the throat. Just because? Just because they're three named whores. Yeah. Oh, Samuel <laughs> L. L. He, he didn't even. What's the L stand for? Parker? <laughs> Sarica Parker, Sarica, Jackson. Sarica L. <laughs> Parker Jackson, Peter Parker. I mean, what if this wasn't fuck? just a the thing happening, just meshing wow. into some demon being, it's that's like a word <laughs> smoothie happening here. Give uh, me the Java juice, quick, mummy yeah. from the fourth <laughs> pyramid. <laughs> Oh my God. All right. I don't even want to talk about Jada Pinkett Come and Will. On. Get out of here. Let's have some stinking on your Pinkett. No, Come not on. some. I know there is some stinking on my Pinkett. Is she still bald? Yeah. So she didn't even have to do what Harry Styles did. She's not did. even married, but here's something sad. Oh, here we go. This is the sandwich part, right? So. Wait, wait before you do, explain the sandwich. We had Sarah Paulson and Holland, right? They're talking about the success to a long-term relationship being oh. being several years apart in age. Then we have this, breaking today. Okay. Chris what Appleton is? files to divorce Lucas Gage after six months of marriage. And I know what you're thinking. What? Who? Well, no, what and I was you're thinking absolutely is, right. why is there a Shazam fucking bolt right Thank between you. Them? There's nothing that drives me more insane than an aggressive split-up graphic. Right? What the Shazam is it's happening? It's just like, gah, gah, gah. like it's, Wait, I got, I'm going to, you're going to kill, I don't even know who these dudes are. Who well, are they? 
Lucas Gage is an actor. He's on the left. He's the one that looks like a lion trainer from uh, Siegfried and Roy. Okay. Uh, he was in White like Lotus. the other guy doesn't? And the other guy, well... <laughs> fair. Yeah. A, yeah, fair. The one on the right is Kim Kardashian's hairstylist. Oh, wow. This is why we care. Wow. And here's the ticker. Okay. They were only married for six months. Whoa. Six How long months. were they dating? I don't think they did. <laughs> oh, it's just one of those. I think they just got married one night because out of oh. the blue, I, we talked about it on this podcast. We were like, oh, okay. And then six months, they broke up. They got married at the Little White Chapel. Kim Kardashian was the... Uh, In Vegas? Yeah. What was what was the uh, impetus for the breakup? What, what caused the... You know what? I knew you were going to ask me that. Oh, and psychic. It's... Uh, uh, Skim reconcilable differences. Skim? Mm -hmm. They didn't like the same milk? No, not the milk. The brand of clothing that oh. Kim has created called Skims. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Yeah. It happens. You're allowed to ask I was questions. Two, I was 2% right. <laughs> mm-hmm. You are. fly across this table so fast. <laughs> I will jeepers creepers your hairdo so you look like one of the gasoline alley characters from the Sunday funnies. <laughs> I know, but I, oh. guy, mm -hmm. settle in. I need to settle in. Settle You're right. In. I'm just really upset that this didn't why, last. Why are you upset? I'm what not. do you got to do with it? We that? just had to say it because it was just, you know, here we are. and They're extremely handsome gentlemen. Which one would you say is more handsome? The blonde or the brunette? Siegfried the, or Roy? The, the brunette. So, Kim? <laughs> yes, Kim. <laughs> why, the, why the brunette? Chris? Yeah. I don't know. He's got that like swagger. He's a he's yeah. a uh better cleavage too. Better cleavage. Yeah. He has a sick body. He does? Oh yeah. Very yeah. And he's, you know, successful hairstylist, whatever. But like there was such a huge thing about this. Shania Twain he's was there. He's got a body like that and he's a successful hairstylist. He must do a lot of curls. Oh yeah. He's a big gym buff guy. But like, um I think you missed age, it. what wait, wait, what? Must do curls. a lot of curls. Mm. I'm going to fly over this table so fast. Wait. Are you cereal? <laughs> God. Aggressive. I know. I'm sorry. Sarah Jessica oh, Parker. My Sarah ass. Jessica. Um, we have time, uh, f I think, for a couple more stories, right? We're good. We have two more stories. Okay. Two more stories. Are you, you're in? Yeah, I'm in. Okay. Yeah. This is kind of a weird story. Unlike the other ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this one... Oh, kind of like, goes there. Like, okay, I'm yeah. down. I, I can do it. Are you familiar with the millionaire biohacker Brian Johnson? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Good. Well, he claims that he has reverse aged his penis by 15 years by using shock therapy on his genitals, revealing he is aiming to have the erections of an 18 year old. That's what happens when you show your penis pictures of Delta Burke. I mean, truth. That is shock therapy. But this is what's so crazy. This guy has become uh, internet famous for his controversial de-aging methods. So a couple months back, huh. he was in the news for taking his son's blood Ugh. and spinning the plasm, plasma yeah. and putting it on his face to keep him young forever. Yeah. yeah. Could you imagine if your vampire, dad, yeah, yeah, if your dad did that? Yeah, that's like real. That's going back to Jeepers Creepers it, stuff. Totally. Right there. I mean, yes. you got your, your dad walks into your room with Benjamin Button balls and asks for your blood. It's like, <laughs> uh uh, daddy, take me to the fair like the other boys. Put your fucking fangs back in your mouth, Count Yorga. Uh, but it's Christmas morning, Papa. Holy. Give me the blood. Whoa. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Did he just have a placenta shake down just at the Just something. To go to Irwan like the yeah, rest yeah, of us, right. you know? Um, wow. But he says, um, let's see, go, go back. Is that up. even legal? Can you do that? Drink your, put your kid's blood well, all the over kid's your like, face? The kid's 18. Yeah. So he's how did like he get the age. blood? The kid gave him to him. He's like, sure thing, Dad. Ooh. How did he bleed him out, though? I'm going to say fangs. I don't know. I think he just like like you know you go in and get like an IV and 
do it. I don't know. Oh. So he's raised some eyebrows after sharing his pursuit to live forever, which it have, has included swapping blood with his father and his teenage son. And he has made it very clear he means he wants every part of him to be working for longer. The millionaire isn't only focusing on his mental health. Okay. Yeah. Revealing he also wears a device on his penis to measure nighttime erections, which he say is indicative, no pun intended, yeah. of how his health is improving. So this is the guy. He says that everyone should know these three things, how much you weigh, how fast you're aging, and the duration of your nighttime erections. Essentials, pretty much. Does he not know about Viagra? I Like, you don't have to bleed your son to get a heart on. I, well, like that's him right there. He's 46, so. Ooh, he looks like an 18-year-old cheerleader. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Maybe it is working. I don't know. Ooh. Cut to me throwing my hair dryer in my bathtub when I'm in it just to yeah. get those erections going. God, what, what's his shirt say? It says don't. <laughs> I won't, believe me. Fuck off. You would think you'd pick a better shirt when you're speaking yeah. to someone. Hey, do what I do. And then you're wearing a shirt that says don't. I think it says donut because he needs something to eat, the skinny God. fuck. So, yeah. No, I mean, this is, I, I think it's very, very bizarre. That's um, weird, dude. Like he's a billionaire? Millionaire. And he can't just like do some research or go to like the Amazon and crush up a praying mantis and some huskoska berry berries? Like he's got to bleed his kid? Bleed his kid. But it's not like bleeding his kid. His kid's voluntarily giving him his blood because yeah, it has the same DNA. But still, what yes, you know, what, what a weird Father's Day. Well, you yeah, know? your kid's in his room with the headphones on, daddy. Hey, son, uh, to... can I get a couple of pints? Okay, dad. Hold on. My By girlfriend's the way, do you, over. Do you call him dad when he looks younger than you now, too? True. Right? Fair enough. I'd just say, get the fuck out of my room, little brother. But also, I'm like, he's not that. I mean, he's 46 years old. Like, yeah. Why are you trying to reverse engineer your age when you're only 46? It's like, so... maybe when you turn like 96. Something, then, yeah. You know? But now he's saying that um, the. Uh, the erections are with are a good sign of good cardiovascular fitness. So he's saying cardiovascular health, you can go to the gym and build big biceps or whatever, but people are not familiar that nighttime erections are actually a meaningful health indicator. How does he know? I don't know. How did he study at DeVry? Like it's how do people come up with these theories? Yeah, I got I get a big giant erection at night. It's super healthy. I'm gonna live longer. Don't we all just live and die no matter what we do? I don't, you would think. I don't know, they, unless they change the system. But he says, this is the technology of the of the erection, erection uh, energy, whatever the hell it's called. So he says, you have a wand. Oh, here we go. It always comes Dildo back to Dorf, a wand. Yeah. Dildo uh -huh. Dorf. Yeah. And you sit in a chair, and then the technician use. there's someone there. And then the technician uses the wand and basically shocks your penis through the acoustic technology. Isn't this just a guy with an S and M fetish? Seriously, right? Isn't this just happening in Manhattan every hour of every day in a over a deli somewhere, somewhere. an Indian restaurant? <laughs> Some just, guy green mild to a chair getting electrocuted in yeah. his marshmallows. Come on. Just be just do it like a normal person. Yeah. You, you get in your car, you drive out into the woods with your taser gun and just go to town. Freeze. In your car seat yeah. by yourself. You, you there. Know. Stop. Yeah. During an Easter egg hunt. Yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. And then you get out of your car, cop, cop pulls you over. Can I see your driver's license, kid? Oh, yeah. actually, I'm 45, officer. You look no. 13 to me. Well, that's because I just shot my balls in the woods, officer. <laughs> Why is your face covered in blood? Oh, that's from my son yeah, in the back. Like, yeah, my son's a freezy <sighs> pop when he's not playing soccer. It's so weird. Fucking someone... Why are we... We're executing people in prison and this guy's wandering around? Yeah. Like, Jeffrey Dahmer Jr. It's over here. It's pretty yeah. bizarre. And I don't think we're going to see the end of it anytime soon. Oh, creepy. Uh, and our last story. Oh, God. Here I we know. go. Jeff Bezos. Oh, uh, what did he do? Has put penis electrocution on Amazon. So you can get it for a stocking stuffer this holiday season, your own ball wand. 
You're going to stick your package in your stocking? Mm -hmm. Finally. Wow. <laughs> No, he uh, he posed in Vogue to celebrate his engagement. So this is him and his his fiance Lauren Sanchez. Oh yeah, she's a beauty. <laughs> Isn't she pretty? Yes, she is. She's hot. She, I have a lot of questions, but they yeah. they um they got engaged over um uh I think they got engaged actually a while back. But they had another engagement party because he's worth $160 billion. And Does that's he what do a do. prenup? A guy like that? Has to. Has to. Has to. But what's the buyout? Like, really? even if you divorce, you're She's probably going to get 200, 300 million. Yeah, you're, no, probably way more than that. Like, how much? Like, probably a couple billion. So you can't lose. Like, even with a prenup, you can't lose. She's fine, but I'm going to wow. I'm gonna drop some more names for you because I know you love that. Their yeah. latest engagement party went down on Sunday night at a private affair at the home of Barry Diller and Diane von Furstenberg with a series a serious guests included. Now, they use the word serious, but So no on. comedians invited? No, no comedians were invited. Just Kim and Khloe Kardashian, Kris Jenner, Corey, uh, Chris's boyfriend, Mick Jagger, Oprah, Leonardo DiCaprio, Chris Rock, David Geffen, Robert Pattinson, and Sookie Waterhouse, and Barbara Streisand, apparently. Why are we leaving her oh, out? Oh, I thought that was Sarah Jessica Parker. Oh, my God. Wow, look <laughs> at her. Is that her? They also invited Jewel to perform at the event. No way. Speaking of corn cob teeth. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, hello, Farmer's Daughter's Deli. Woo. Power slam. Farmer's Daughter's Deli is also a, uh, a hipster girl that goes to school in Silver Lake. Is that true? Well, she's got three names, so we're just yeah, keeping it real. Right. Yeah, got it. Wow. Um, so, yeah, there was a, a whole slew of people. God, there was a whole bunch of people there. Where'd they do it? It looks like a vineyard or something. Well, this is where just the photo shoot. And oh. I, what are we getting from this photo shoot? She's hot. You think she's hot? Oh, yeah, man. Look at her. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Beautiful breasts, beautiful face, long hair, nice hips, nice uh, turquoise bracelet. It's Yeah, it's like a... Look at her. Oh, wait. Let's see. Let's get this date. Uh, they don't have a ton of details yet. They've only been engaged for five months. Uh oh. So, yeah, they've only been engaged for five months. You don't think she's hot? Well, I'm gay. Well, you can still think she's hot. I think she's pretty. Yeah. I said the, the, the two gay guys, the Siegfried and Roy guys, were handsome, and I'm not gay. I you can say it. She's pretty in her own way. Don't go, don't gay backwards on me here. No. You can still comment on women just because you're gay. I just don't. I, I, she also says this. I love this. What the um, fuck did she fall see, in the Jolly now, Green Giants exactly. climax? What the hell is this? She actually fell down <laughs> at the <laughs> Chocolate <laughs> Emporium what? at Universal Studios. Wow. Holy, but, holy. But this is what makes me. La makes me laugh. She says she's taking Jeff's last name when they walk down the aisle. She says, uh, yes, 100%. I'm looking forward to being Mrs. Bezos. What's her first name? Lauren. Lauren Bezos. Lauren Bezos. Of course she wants to be Mrs. Bezos. So if they go to a restaurant mm -hmm. and they go table for the is the it Bezos? the Bozos or the Bezos? The Bezos. Okay, so plural it's not Bozos. Because there was a clown called Bozo the Clown yeah. in the 70s. No, this is the Bezos's. Okay. What is plural for Bezos? Bozos. The, a gaggle of bozos? Well, no thanks. I'm busy. <laughs> but but, the, but like a Christmas party. Oh, the Bezos's are coming. The, the, yeah, the, like, right? Right. The Bezos's. It's just like Bezos's. Are the Bezos's coming? <laughs> yeah, it's just like. The Bezos's. If the whole family's there, like they have nine kids, it's just like, hey, the Bezos's. Yeah. Come to the Bezos's. Oh, God. So they're here. But I do like this uh, Annie Leibovitz. Uh, oh, I like She him. did the photos for this. Oh, that's a girl? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's a very famous photographer. She did this photo? She did this photo. Fuck, and I didn't she know also... she was only this big. No. How's she getting that fucking watch? It is pretty strange. I wonder. Wow. I bet that's a house they own. I bet that's just going down into the wine cellar. Oh, or the, or they're the... so rich. That's their fucking coffee grinder. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus fuck. <laughs> I mean, they have the best coffee in the world. <laughs> the best part of waking up is being Jeff Bezos. Oh, cute. Oh. Tender singing. Yeah, but wait, go You're to like the, the new Leo picture. Sayer. Yeah. This is the, the oh, not Sarah Jessica. This one. This is the wedding. This is like their engagement photo. Yeah. <clears throat> it reminds me 
of like an Australian outback couple in love, or it could be they love the show Yellowstone. Mm. What do you think? I definitely think there's some Photoshop of some muscle definition because I don't think Jeff Bezos has those guns. Well, when your wife's more muscular than you, mm -hmm. uh, she looks like they're not hugging, but she's actually got them in an arm lock. And With that to ring choke on? Out. Yeah. yeah, look at that ring on her. I mean, do, do we have to say it? I don't want to be mean or judgmental. Sure, but, but if Jeff Bezos isn't the richest guy in the world, is he getting that? If he's a guy working at like Arby's or Home Depot, is he getting that? Not to be mean, but no. just be keeping it real. Yeah. And I wish him all the best. I mean, good for him. He's done well. But is she purely in love with him? And you think, I don't know. I mean, they've, it's a good question. It's a valid question. It's sort of mean, but it's, it's like everyone's asking. I'm just saying it out loud. I hope it's true love and yeah. it's pure love. Wait, can what? we can we find the the part of the article where she actually talks about the ring? Yeah, that ring is a little sus. Why? Well, that just plays into like, you know, I remember I saw a movie once where these two people were lost on an island. They were boat wrecked. It was um Who's the guy that was in Cape Fear? Robert Mitchum. It was Robert Mitchum and maybe Doris Day or someone like that. Uh-huh. They crashed on an island. They hated each other. And they fell in love because they were stranded on an island, got to know each other. And one day a bunch of junk floated in from the from the boat, and there was an old, like, you know, like a first aid kit. Mm-hmm. And he pulled it out, and there was a Band-Aid in it, and he put the Band-Aid on her finger and said, will you marry me? Oh, no. And I love that because it was about the symbolism of the, of union. the union and the love. It didn't matter what it was. And when I see a rock the side of yeah. a fucking em a hummingbird embryo, it's like I don't it's, really I, – I question. It's gigantic. I mean, do you um, really want a fucking uh, diamond so big that if the sun refracts through it, you melt Mars? Yeah, like you it know? just burns a small village. She actually <laughs> – I said, you know how big this ring is? It's a third. It's a thirty carat ring. Like she's gonna have arthritis within a year. Yeah. You know, her left arm's gonna be dragging like a Neanderthal. So you can't hold that up. You can't go out in these streets. I mean, you walk through Africa with that, an ostrich sits on your hand and tries to hatch it. <laughs> I mean, fuck me. <laughs> this is my favorite. She says, when he opened the box, yeah, I think I blacked out a bit. She said that he had hidden the ring under her pillow as she discovered it as she was getting into bed. Hid it under the pillow? He hid the She's lucky she didn't get a concussion well, when or she just flopped stabbed it. through the pillow right? right into her, like, May duodenum. May oh, the duodenum. Is Holy it the duodenum? That's what they taught me up at the Rye. The Bezos is his duodenums? The, 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 bo the Bozos, the duodenums? <laughs> God. Oh, my gosh. Well, that is it. What do you mean? We got through the stories. <laughs> Tell everybody where they can find you. <laughs> I don't want to be found, nosy. I'll get lost. I'll be at DeVry taking my courses in human consumption. Do you, do no, you, I, I have a beautiful podcast yes. that you've been on. The, hi, the, the, Harlan, the Harlan Highway. Highway. And uh, I launch it every Tuesday. Yes. And you got to come back I on do. soon. Yes, you've please. It's been a while. And uh, you can check it out. It's on YouTube mm -hmm. and on all the uh, audio. But I recommend you watch it because mm -hmm. it's, it's like here we had so much fun yes. physical bits. Yes, very fun. This is also on video as well. This, this come, is good. Yeah, this on will video. come out on YouTube on uh, Wednesday. Well, so yes. let's stick. I was plugging mine and then you sort of jumped right in and plugged no, because all I of think them. Well, <laughs> I feel like I was trying to plug mine and then you... Just kind of steamrolled what People I was like doing. People like to watch so, it well, as well, is what you're it's saying. Still happening. It's still, I'm in the middle of it. Um, but, and then you can find me on Instagram <laughs> and uh, doing shows at harlowilliams.com and, you know, all that fun stuff. Perfect. Yeah, man. All Thanks right. for having of me. Course, what a, what a of treat. Course. What a treasure you are. What a, what a, <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Happy birthday. Uh, I hope you. Twanks. I hope you. Uh, <laughs> You know, Shania Twain singing for my birthday. Oh, good. Yeah, just, I just got a new CD. What, yeah. Really? Yeah, she's going to be singing in my house. <laughs> she's just saying happy birthday and go, that don't impress me <laughs> much. Oh, oh God. God. All right, well, we'll see you next time here on the Just Say Podcast. Happy Thanksgiving. Next week, we have Pete Holmes joining us for a very happy Thanksgiving episode. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.